Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to reset your armories. Uh, basically, <clears throat> last summer we had Game Update 73 that pretty much changed all the powers and all, and all the, the abilities. And basically what it did is that it pretty much reset everyone's skill points to zero. Well, not to zero, but it, it pretty much reset everyone's uh, skill points. Whereas no skill points is assigned anymore. So you can see this character has 61 skill points and no skill points have been assigned. And also the powers also have changed. Well, so basically until you actually re-imprint your armory, until you reassign your skill point and until you can re-imprint your armories, as you can see, my armories are not working right now. So in order to be able to get my armories working, I'm gonna have to, to do a few steps. I'm going to try to keep it simple so that uh, those of you those of you who aren't that familiar with how to set your armories can easily follow. But odds are there's there's like uh, more than one ways to do this. I'm just going to show you one way to make sure that if you follow each step that I'm doing, you should be fine afterwards. You should be able to to re-imprint and re and, and use your armories once more. So let's get started. Basically, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to to reassign all your skill points. So right now you could assign your skill points anywhere, uh, but just for good measure, this character is using the shield. So let's uh, well, let's not take any chances. So let's reassign our skill points with shield. There we go. And I'm not sure if you uh, for acrobatic. Let's take uh, rocket assisted glide. Let's take uh, forward flip attack. Uh, just for good measure, let's take backflip attack, because I kind of like that attack. And let's take the various resistance for our character. You don't have to take those resistance, but I would strongly suggest you do. So once we did that, well, let's see if we can give him at least one iconic power. And then let's give him whatever stats he needs. Uh, in this case, he's using like a mixture of... Um, Weapon and power, although in, uh, in this specific, specific armory, uh, that's my healer armory, so let's have him, uh, let's set him up as a healer. So that should do it. So basically, we've assigned all the skill points. Not sure why I still get the message uh, for spending skill points to have uh, uh, everything is spent. So once I did that, as you can see, I still cannot use my armories. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to re-imprint my healer armory. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. So now I can use it once more. But as you can see, I still cannot use the DPS armory. So there's two things I could do. I could right away re-imprint my armory, and then it would work, and then I could try to, I could try to re-customize it. Or I could just customize it right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset my skill points again, and I'm going to reassign them again. Uh, eons ago, I would have had to do that one skill point at a time, but luckily nowadays, we can do that uh, a whole bunch of skill points at a time. So again, let's get started. So let's go into weapon, our shield, Let's reassign our points to our shield. And also, as you can see, I'm still in healer stance. And also, I don't have the look that my armory has. And sadly, I cannot, uh, I cannot imprint my armory until I put my skill points on. Let's assume I don't want to, to go through all my, sky, my styles again. I'm going to try to activate only the appearance of my armory. So let's do that. So even though the armory is still disabled, if you click straight on the armory, you can still use at least some of it. And let's switch to DPS. Uh, in order to switch to, to DPS, I'm used to using a controller, so I usually just go with the D-pad up, and then you see switch roll. But from what I understand, okay, not the right one. Okay, so if I press T on the keyboard, it switches armory, it switches roll automatically. 
if you see in the corner, when I, whenever I press T, you see the little symbol change from uh, Ealer to, to DPS. So now we've switched our character to DPS. Of course, as you can see, I'm going to have to redo my loadouts completely. But that's for another story. So now we've we've uh, reassigned uh, our look to our character. I'm not sure why I see through. There we go. So now we're reassigned the look uh, to our character. A bit of lag. It happens. So let's see if we can now reassign all the skill points. So we already did the, the weapon. So let's do the same with acrobatic. Again, I'm going to take the very same thing. Oh, sorry, there seems to be a bit of lag. So let's do that with the Iconics as well. I like uh, taking Super Strength uh, personally, but it's a, it's a pretty useless power. So unless you're crazy like me, I don't do that. And in this case, I use Weapon and Powers, uh, sort of. So I'm going to go for Hybrid, although I would be really tempted to still go with Super Powered. But I'll use Hybrid uh, just because. So I'm assigning one point here. And this being my DPS Armory, then I'll put my points in Critical Attack. Critical attack damage. And sadly we're done. Uh, the next step would have been to put points into Might and Power or Precision, depending on what you, you prefer. But uh, it'll be for uh, another time. So now we reset all the skill points uh, on, our, our, on our DPS Armory. And you even see uh, when, I used, when, when I purchased the Agility uh, Powers, you can see it filled my loadout uh, by default with that. If you don't want those uh, that, basically you're just going to load out. Reset your loadout any way you want. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Well, that should do it for now. So once we've reset our loadout the way we like it, then we can go come to our armory, imprint it, and print all. Okay. And now we should be good to go. So as you see, we were able to get our DPS and our healer armory back. And then we can switch back between both. In order to be able to tweak it. Here my uh, I would have to tweak my healer loadout a bit. So I would go and do that. Go into loadout. Let's say replace whatever. And then re-imprint armory our armory if we need to. So that's pretty much how you can re-imprint your armory. Whenever there's a big change in the game that changes how the power works, how the skill point works, uh, and whole, a whole bunch of good stuff. Or if you were to change your powers also. Like right now my character is an electric healer. If I was to, to decide to change the powers to let's say celestial, I would have had to do that uh, as well. Because all my powers would have changed. So I would have had to not just re-fix re my loadout, but also re-imprint my armories with my new powers, my new loadout. And just for good measure, uh, also one thing that you can see is, uh, is that my uh, my mainframe is probably uh, outdated. So let's take a few minutes and uh, replace our batteries. Again, I'm not sure why there's a bit of lag, but uh, it happens. I'm not going to... the sidekick, I just use it once in a while, so it doesn't really matter. And there we go. So that's pretty much how whenever you, you log into this universe online and there's big, a big change to the game. If your armories are disabled, sadly there's no Merkle solution. You have to uh, re-customize your character and then re-imprint your armory. And you have to do that with each armory. And once you do that, only then can you start using your armories once more. So as you can see right now, we can switch no problem from uh, DPS. Or from a healer. And of course there's a little cooldown that uh, prevents you from changing uh, all the time. But uh, that's part of the game. That's not a bug. That's uh, almost that's a feature you could say. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And that's uh, pretty much it for now guys. So as always, 
thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.